unsolved crimes newspaper as a response to Cavalier civil society organization within the framework of a struggle against religious extremism presents. Apologetica ed è arrivata una convocazione da parte del Papa. Massimo Intervenia, Italian religion sociologist, doctor of philosophy, professor, founder and managing director of the Center for Studies on New Religions, former representative on combating racism, xenophobia and discrimination at OSC. You're about to meet twin sisters, survivors of a radical religious sect known for allegations of sexual abuse. And of course the media love to tell the story of the victims. Exclusive. An innocent young girl is lured into a cult. You were pregnant with his child? Yes. And he wasn't feeding you? No. Only these people talk to the media. There have been claims of sexual abuse and in this disturbing video obtained by ABC News, young girls are seen suggestively dancing for their leader. So there is a great effect of optical illusion. Today, Floor and Tamar seem to be coping surprisingly well. They live in California now. Floor is a freelance writer and office coordinator. And they can interview the victims and have a good article. Pauline, first let's back up. When you went to the cult, you begged your family let you go, did you not? Yes. So what exactly are these victims? This word victim is very important because it's a word that carries an emotional uh, overload. And of course the media love to tell the story of the victims because the victim is uh, something which makes for a good article. Simply to talk about a member of a group is not very sexy, nobody is very much interested. And they can interview the victims and have a good article. Sociologists call these victims with a different name. They use the words apostates. So th th there is a whole branch of sociology studying the apostates. And the leading uh, scientist uh, is Professor David Bromley in Virginia Commonwealth University. So, at least in a few minutes, uh, I should summarize for you the main findings of Professor Bromley. So, here we have a group. Now, this group has a changing membership. Every year, some people convert and some people go out. This is of course true for every religious or social group. That's true for political parties, particularly in Italy, Italians love changing political parties. So somebody enters and somebody goes out. So this is not typical of cults or new religious movements, it's true of any social institution. Some people enter from the door, some people go out from another door. But particularly the question uh, Professor Bromley was interested in uh, is what is their attitude towards the movement they have left? I worked with Professor Bromley to build a typology of these ex-members of New Acropolis. And of course, to have statistic trends, I need to interview thousands of people who have left the movement. It's not enough to interview one or two or twenty. So I sent questionnaires to them by the mail and many answered. Uh, say 
where people who had left New Acropolis and had a very good opinion of New Acropolis and say, I regret I had no time to go to the meetings, but it was a wonderful experience. So I'm no longer a member, but I have only to say I'm grateful to this organization. It made my life more beautiful. Then there was uh, uh, another minorities, uh, I don't know the exact figures, but again you can find, uh, which are the real apostates. So those who left New Acropolis and say it was a horrible organization, you know it was really a cult. So where, what say the great majority? The great majority of those who leave a group, they don't have strong feelings. They just says if, feel like normal to go into a group, to leave a group, to go into another, leave another. So it says it was not the most wonderful organization in the world, and in fact we left. But they say it was not even a very bad organization, and that's why we stayed for some years. So there is a great effect of optical illusion. In our society, all these are invisible. Nobody sees them. The only ex-members people see of a group are the ex-members who claim to be victims. But only these people talk to the media. People come to believe that this small percentage of people who complain about the group they are left, they represent the totality of the ex-members. But in fact, they are only minority. They are not the totality, they are, by far, they are not the majority. Imagine there is a, a small town in Ukraine when there are 100 members of Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, every year they have 10 new converts and 10 who leave the movement. That's the normal percentage all over the world. And then out of these 10 people, there is one who is very angry, perhaps because he has a personal vendetta against the local leader. Perhaps she is the ex-wife of the local leader. That also happens quite often. Perhaps they divorced and she's engaged in a bad divorce, so she has some reasons not to like the local leader. And of course, uh, uh, when uh, she starts talking with the journalists, she will be noticed by the religious extremists. Or perhaps in this time of the internet, she knows the religious extremists exist and she will write a letter to Mr. Dvorkin. Perhaps, in fact, he has never heard of the word brainwashing. But after she writes to Dvorkin, she's told by Dvorkin about brainwashing. And for her, it's very convenient, because she should say Jehovah's Witnesses are very bad. But I have been a member for many years. So how is possible I have been a member of a bad organization? And Dvorkin offers the explanation. It's not your fault you have been brainwashed. So you see, the religious extremists first persuade the person that she has been brainwashing. Then they take her to the Belgian parliament to say she is the evidence that this group practices brainwashing. Now, here, what is the activity of the anti-cult terrorists? Because, of course, it's not false that this lady does not like the Jehovah's Witnesses. This is actually true. But uh, what is false uh, is the anti-cult terrorists give the impression uh, that this lady is a typical representative of those who have left the movement. While only 10%, but in some groups even much less than 10% of ex-members are apostates. Now, you know everything you need to create any number of fake victims. You can take the instructions and start implementing. But there is one thing. We also know these instructions. Moreover, we know each year's step. We're shadows. But we're always somewhere near. And as soon as you proceed to the next project, we meet you at the most 